Hi everyone, it's Miss Gisa, and I have a little friend here with me again today. It's Paula the pill bug. Hi Paula. Hi Miss Gisa. How's everyone doing out there? Thanks for joining us again. Today we're going to look a little bit more into my life and my body parts. Have fun listening to the story. All right, everyone, our story today is called Pill Bugs Up close. It's written by Greg Pyers. Amazing pill bugs. Have you ever seen a pill bug? Pill bugs are flat creatures that scurry in dark, damp places. You may have seen many pill bugs in a compost pile, among dead leaves, or under a pile of wood. Perhaps you have seen one curl up into a ball, though not all do this. When you look at them up close, pill bugs really are amazing animals. You're pretty amazing, right, Paula? I sure am, and so is my family. Pill bugs are crustaceans. Crabs, crayfish, and barnacles are also crustaceans. Crustaceans have no bones. Instead, they have a hard, tough skin called an exoskeleton. That means my skeleton is on the outside, not the inside like yours. Crustaceans have many legs and most kinds live in water. Unlike most crustaceans, pill bugs live on land. Pill bugs are found in many different parts of the world. They live in the hottest deserts of Africa and in salty pools in Australia. The common sea slater lives on beaches. Most pill bugs live in forests. A habitat is where animals live. Pill bugs are found in a lot of different habitats. Most live in damp, dark places. The leaf litter on a forest floor is a good habitat for pill bugs. Pill bugs are also found in compost, soil, and under bark and rocks. The cracks and brick walls can be home to many pill bugs. Pill bugs live in these places because they can find their food there. They can also stay hidden from predators. Many pill bugs move out into the open at night to feed. During the day, beach pill bugs find shelter under rocks, seaweed, and driftwood. They come out to feed when the sun has set. Living in dark, damp places keeps pill bugs from drying out. A pill bug's body has three main parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. The body is covered by a hard exoskeleton, and you can see it here. A pill bug's head has a mouth, two eyes, and two pairs of feelers called antennae. One pair is very small and difficult to see. In adult pill bugs, the thorax has seven parts or segments. Each segment has a back plate. These look like pieces of armor. The pill bug's seven pairs of legs are attached to these segments. A pair of legs is attached underneath each segment. The abdomen is much shorter than the thorax. At the end of the abdomen, there are two tail-like body parts called uropods. Pill bugs are dark gray in color, but there are also red, orange, brown, cream, and even green pill bugs. Some even have spotted skin or a stripe. Most pill bugs eat rotting plants. In a compost pile, pill bugs eat potato peels, cabbage leaves, tomatoes, and carrot tops. Pill bugs also eat fungi that grow on leaves. Quite often they eat their own droppings. Pill bugs sometimes eat the flesh of dead animals. They may eat other pill bugs even when they are alive. This may happen when a pill bug is shedding its skin. At that time, its soft body is easy to bite. On a forest floor, pill bugs eat dead leaves and wood. The mouth has two jaws called mandibles. These break food into small pieces for swallowing. Pill bugs get water in several ways. One way is from the moist food they eat. Another is to drink it, for example, from dew drops. A third way a pill bug gets water is by taking it in through its uropods. A pill bug's mouth is on the bottom of its head. 
Tail bugs recycle their waste by eating their droppings. Why do they eat their droppings? Well, when a pill bug swallows food, the food moves through a long food tube to the stomach. As it moves along, the food is broken down. This releases nutrients that the pill bug needs to stay alive. The nutrients are taken into the pill bug's blood. Some nutrients pass out through the anus in the pill bug's droppings. By eating the droppings, a pill bug can obtain these nutrients. Pill bugs sense the world around them in several ways. One way is by using their eyes. Pill bugs have a compound eyes. Each compound eye is made up of many small eyes. Each small eye faces in a slightly different direction. It sometimes, it sees something a little bit different from the other eyes. Some insects' compound eyes have thousands of small eyes. A pill bug's compound eyes have just 15 to 20 small eyes. This means that a pill bug's eyesight is poor. It's true, it's very hard for me to see. A pill bug does not need good eyesight because it lives in dark places. A pill bug has two pairs of feelers called antennae. One pair is large. As the pill bug walks, it taps these antennae on the ground in front of it. The antennae pick up smells and enable the pill bug to find food. Smells also lead a male pill bug to a female. The second antennae called antennules are tiny and probably have no use. Do you know how many legs pill bugs have? Take a guess. I have 14 legs. Wow, Paola, 14 legs. These legs are arranged in seven pairs. Each pair is attached underneath the pill bug's body. There is a pair of legs attached to each of the seven segments of the thorax. Pill bug's legs are jointed. This means they have separate sections joined together. All 14 legs are the same size and shape. Pill bugs can move at different speeds. When they are searching for food, they move slowly. When a light comes on or when a predator is about, they scurry for cover. A pill bug does not walk just on its feet. Half of each leg also touches the ground. The lower part of each leg has short bristles. These give the pill bugs a good grip on leaves, rocks, and sticks as it walks. Many animals eat pill bugs. There is a species of spider that eats nothing but pill bugs. Centipedes, beetles, frogs, and newts eat pill bugs. In Europe, hedgehogs and shrews eat pill bugs too. One way that a pill bug avoids predators is to hide. Some pill bugs scurry away when danger threatens. Others can roll into a ball. This protects their soft undersides from attack by small predators, such as centipedes. Rolling up may also confuse a predator. Pill bugs can give off an unpleasant smell. This keeps many predators away. Some pill bugs, such as this one, can roll into a ball. The other pill bug, pictured, cannot roll into a ball. Many species of pill bugs lose water quickly through their exoskeletons. Their exoskeletons are not waterproof. But this is not a problem, as long as these pill bugs remain in damp places. The inside of a pill bug is a lot like the inside of an insect. A pill bug's blood moves through the spaces in its body. The heart is long and tube-shaped. It runs beneath the exoskeleton along the pill bug's back. Blood travels from the head, through the thorax, and abdomen and then the heart pumps it forward. Pill bugs do not breathe air through their mouths. A few species take in oxygen through groups of tiny tubes underneath the back of their bodies. Even if the pill bugs have the tubes, most take in oxygen through gills under the abdomen. Inside the body, oxygen is taken into the pill bug's blood. Pill bugs hatch from eggs in a pouch under the mother's belly. The eggs start to develop there after she mates with a male pill bug. Dozens of eggs may hatch inside a pill bug's pouch, but the babies do not leave the pouch. They stay there to grow and develop. The pouch is full of fluid. This stops the babies from drying out. The pouch is above the first five pairs of the mother's legs. The top halves of these legs lie quite flat against the pouch. 
They protect the pouch from damage if the mother walks on rough ground or rolls into a ball. After one to three months, the young pill bugs are ready to leave the pouch. At first, baby pill bugs look very much like adult pill bugs. There are a few differences. They are much smaller and much lighter in color. This is because their exoskeletons have not yet hardened. Young pill bugs have only six pairs of legs. At this early age, young pill bugs are called mancas. Within a day of leaving its mother's pouch, a manca can grow too big for its exoskeleton. It molts, which means that the old skin splits and the pill bug crawls out with a new, bigger exoskeleton. After the second molt, the pill bug is called a juvenile. As a pill bug grows to adult size, it molts several times. Molting takes place in two stages. First, the exoskeleton covering the rear of the pill bug loosens. This makes one half of its body paler than the other half. The exoskeleton splits and the pill bug pulls itself free. The second stage follows a few days later. The exoskeleton covering the head and first half of the pill bug's body falls off. Molting is a dangerous time for pill bugs. This is because the new exoskeleton is soft. Until it hardens, it provides little protection against a predator's jaws. Pill bugs cannot bite or sting. They do not carry diseases that make people sick. They do not harm people. They break down dead plants and compost to make fertile soil. But still, many people do not like pill bugs. Why? Why don't people like you, Paula? I think you're pretty cute. I don't know. Maybe it's because pill bugs have many legs and remind us of spiders. Perhaps it is because pill bugs are seen in dark, damp places where there are rotting plants. These are the kinds of places people do not like. Some people keep pill bugs as pets. A plastic or glass container with some soil, dead leaves, and a few twigs make an excellent pill bug habitat. A spray of water now and then will keep it moist. The pill bug can be given a few pieces of fruit or vegetable peels to eat. Are you ready to join me for an activity? Let's go. Okay, so let's label the pill bug. You should have this in your activity packet for this week. Now, which side do you think is the head? Well, one way to tell, the hint is to look for the antennae. Can you see the antennae sticking out? That's right. So let's write antennae here. Now, an antenna means one. An antennae means more than one. So in this case, pill bugs have two antennae. Now, here is the head. And pill bugs have a mouth that is underneath their head right here. Now, what other parts? Let's look at the back of the pill bug. And you heard in the story that the pill bug back here has two uropods. So right here and right here, these are called, I'm gonna make a line here. These are called uropods. Do you remember what the Europod does? The Europod are two tail-like body parts. Remember, the Europod is the way that the, one of the ways that the pill bug gets water. It takes it in through these two Europods. All right, now let's look. Where are the eyes? That's right, right here, near the head. Eyes. 
All right, and then you know what these are. These are the pill bug's legs. Do you remember? What is this? Yes, this is the body of the pill bug. Of the pill bug. Now, remember that the pill bug has a thorax and an abdomen. And there are seven segments in the thorax, or seven parts. And each one has a back plate. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So all of that is the thorax. And then a pair of legs is attached underneath each segment. So there are 14 legs all together. The abdomen right here is much shorter. Do you see how long the thorax is? And the abdomen is just right here at the end. Now, you can color your pill bug dark gray, but there are also red or brown or cream or like we read earlier, even green pill bugs. So you can color your pill bug one of those colors. Thanks for joining our lesson today. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe to support our channel. We'll see you again tomorrow for another pill bug lesson.